Oh man, <laughs> guys, man, it's been it's been a while. Be, but let, let's let's face it. There's nothing really exciting going on in the world of comic books. And with New York Comic Con next week, let's talk about comics. We can't have a conversation because obviously you guys can't talk to me right now. I'm here live. But the thing is, is that let's have a realistic virtual conversation. You guys know where to find me on the Instagram and everywhere in the world, Nick GQ. Chime in on the comments. Chime in on the comments. The, the thing is this, because we're live right now, iHeartRadio World, Worldwide. We're talking New York Comic Con tonight, right? So everybody got their booths, right? And all the vendors pay New York Comic Con, Read Pop. They're paying them Thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, 10 by 10 is like what? $2,500, $3,000, $4,000, $5,000, for 20 by 20s. You got Artist Alley. Shout out to the artists. So, shout out to the artists doing their thing on their tables, drawing, making that art. Shout out to the artists. But let, 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 let's talk about it. We got. About, I think, 75 so-called foil cover variants, exclusives. Listen, (laughs) this has to be the biggest gimmick year after year after year after year that the people, the FOMO, the FOMO, keep on buying and buying and buying, and I don't know why they keep buying and buying and buying them. So my thing is this. Those, those online uh, scam selling apps, right? They slow down a lot because the, the truth is exposed. The inner circle truth is exposed. Um... And, and that really slowed down, slowed down to the point that one of the companies, because I'm not giving them any fake, any, uh, they are fake, I'm not giving them any, uh, any marketing, but you guys know who I'm talking about. It even came down to the fact that they had to change the name of their publishing company because nobody was ordering it anymore. That's a fact. So my thing is this, you guys... And girls, you collectors, you collectors. Listen, hey, if it makes you happy to buy something, buy it. Cool, great, fantastic. But let's look at the black and white facts because, again, this is an investment show. This is real-time investing. And let's just analyze. Now, I'm not even going to give anybody any free marketing or publicity. I'm not even going to say the names of titles. But let's just analyze... And we'll go back to maybe 10 months ago when another foil variant, I think they ran the same thing like four different times changing a certain symbol. You guys know what I'm talking about. And one comes out in black and one comes out in blue and one comes out in green and purple and yellow and rainbow. What the hell are you guys buying? (laughs) What are you guys buying? Now... After it sells for like what, forty, fifty dollars each, sixty dollars each, some people were buying nine eights, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred. I don't know what crazy money you guys are blowing your stuff on, but but, but let's look. Let's look at the eBay. We take a scroll right now at all of these foil exclusive variants, right? You tell me the prices, ladies and gentlemen. Nowhere even close to what they were originally selling for. Nowhere close to even half of what they were originally selling for. Now, you're going to tell me in 2023, next week, walking into New York Comic Con, you're going to take your money and buy this junk? Come on, man. Come on. Listen. I want... To know where the real artists are in this world. 
I want to know. Raise your hands. Raise your hands, ladies and gentlemen. Put the spotlights on you. Because I could, I could pretty much count on my hands and toes about 20 solid, solid artists. And yet, where are they? Where are they on the exclusive covers? Where are they? I don't know. I don't know. And now this all goes back now to these companies. Now let's analyze these companies again with these gimmick covers. Okay, they're not going to pay an artist to do a cover. They're just going to change a logo, right? They're just going to they're just going to change a logo, make it red, blue, green, purple, yellow and the rainbow color and save money on artists, right? Then they're going to go and send them to print. So, you know, you can print out a regular comic book for like four bucks. Let's say you want to do a foil. Listen, I, c- I could call an Arizona printer who's one of the best. They could get it done for me for six to eight dollars a book, right? One of the best printers in the, in the, in the world I ever used. Again, I'm not going to name names. but And then you're going to take that same eight dollar investment per book, right? And then con job everybody and be like, oh yeah, give me 40 bucks, give me 30 bucks, give me 50 bucks, give me 100 bucks, give me $200 because it's a 9.8 guaranteed. Do, do you guys, it's 2023 now, right? So three years, three years it's been uh, since the debut. Uh, we did all those live sales on the, on the apps when, when the app was actually good and decent until it turns into into a con job party with your uh, with your local fake influencers and um, and and went to hell and ruined it for everybody. So the thing is this guys, you guys are walking into New York Comic Con, one of the biggest comic cons in the world next week, right? And you're gonna tell me that you're gonna stand on line, you're gonna stand on line, to buy this shit garbage to buy this junk come on man come on guys come listen listen to me world you guys see what it resells for and i'm gonna tell you guys too for, to all the flippers and everybody who thinks they're a big shot on these selling apps you want to buy something for 30 bucks and then and then immediately run back to your hotel rooms run let's go and sell let's go and sell to the world at double and triple the price you guys are garbage and anybody that does that is just trash and these collectors need to wake up and these buyers need to wake up now and just really put the brakes on this junk because I find it fascinating that every single person that calls this nonsense out, right? Every single person that calls this nonsense out, right? And they get hundreds and thousands of people rallying behind them, right? But yet this stuff still sells, And they keep doing it, and they keep doing it, and they keep doing it, and they keep doing it. So my question is, where are these people that are actually buying this stuff? Because now I'm going to raise another, another little mic drop fun fact. I think these people are setting up fake eBay accounts... Or I think that friends are going on other friends' eBay account pages and buying these nonsense fake variant creation things, these self-made nonsense books at high markup, right? To make it appear that they're actually selling in the world for this crazy ridiculous price to hype up a drive in sales because if if these sales were true consistent it wouldn't take a 50 60 75 percent drop in resell months later a year later it would hold value 
and none of these variant exclusives have ever, ever held a value. This is why I walk right into New York Comic Con and I appreciate all those mom and pop shops that break out the long boxes and I'll go digging in the long boxes and the short boxes looking for silver age, golden age, bronze and copper keys because that's timeless that's an investment that is timeless it stands the test of time it holds its value and that my friends is how to invest and make money in this industry because what do you guys rather be a leader or a follower Because if you guys want to set up your businesses in 2023, going into 2024, doing the same nonsense that these clowns continue to do year after year after year now, three years, four years, and then running back to a hotel to try to flip all this nonsense In a four-day weekend, guys, whoever is supporting this and buying this in the world, listening to me, because I know you guys listen, I I see the views, I I see the plays, I see it, explain to me what... Are you throwing this money away for on this stuff? And it, 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 it's, it's, it's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. Now, yes, it's a buyer's market. After everybody got all their free money from, from the, 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 the scam show, and everybody got all their free government checks and all the free money and... And uh, all that nonsense, right? Everybody had, they thought they were rich. Oh, let me go buy this and buy that and buy this and buy that and win this auction and buy this and buy that. And now let's look at the market. And now everything is back low. Stuff's barely selling. The keys, the real keys, not the imitation nonsense foil cover garbage, But the real keys, the Silver Age, Golden, Bronze, Copper, stuff is staying consistent, but yet the market is still lower. It's a buyer's market right now, a buyer's market. So now we're going to talk about smart investing. See, if I were you, I don't take my $30, $40 and buy variants, Because, like we analyzed in the market, those don't hold a value. What you want to do is take your $30, $40 and go hunting and go hunting in the long boxes, in the short boxes of the mom and pop shops and give them the support because they're taking a risk and they're giving Reed Pop, New York Comic Con, $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 hoping that real comic book lovers and collectors are going to just find something and you guys will. You'll guy, you guys and girls, you people will. You'll find quality. You will find books that are worth grading and pressing and putting a little bit more of an investment in. You guys will find books where maybe you could trade up using social media. Maybe you have other collectors and friends and you guys want to trade and stuff. You guys will find quality books and play it smart. 
We still have a Kang movie coming. We have more Marvel shows coming. We have DC shows coming. We have Secret Wars coming. Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom, Galactus, Silver Surfer. Secret Wars, Julia Carpenter, who later becomes the new Madam Web in another Madam Web movie coming out in the future. Plan, plan your investments. Plan your investments. Walking into New York Comic Con next week for four days. Plan, organize, and execute. Because I'm telling you, all those people that wait on those lines for those gimmick variants year after year after year after year. Yeah, they sell. And then, yeah, they flip for a profit in this four-day FOMO weekend. But then they tank. And the black and white proof, year after year after year, nothing holds its value in these made-up gimmick variants. Guys, shop wisely, invest wisely, have fun at New York Comic Con, I'll see everybody there, Nick GQ out baby, love you guys.